Welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be doing an oil and filter change. So currently we're in the middle of the coronavirus lockdown and the bike needs a service. Thankfully, I thought ahead and I managed to get all the parts that I will need. So we're going to start with an oil and filter change. Now, this is the easiest job in the world. Here are the tools you'll need to do it with. You'll need a 13mm spanner or socket. You'll need a um, filter cup wrench. Now, on some bikes, you'll manage to get the filter off without a wrench, but not on the speed triple because it's kind of recessed uh, underneath the engine. And as an option, you can use a torque wrench. So I do have one, so I'm going to use it. Uh, you don't really need one. You can do it by feel. Okay, in this video, we're going to do it slightly differently. Uh, like I say, it is the easiest job in the world, changing an oil and filter. Um, so we're not going to edit the video at all. Once I start doing the, the service, uh, we're just going to keep the camera running. We've got two cameras, and we may uh, go from one shot to the other. But we're going to keep the camera going from start to finish, just to show how easy this really is. Okay, so here we go. We're going to start doing the oil and filter service. We're not going to cut or edit it, we're just going to show how easy it is from start to finish. So first of all we're going to start with uh, loosening off the filler cap. Some people have suggested this will help oil flow better. I'm not so sure myself, but I can't see harm in. I've already warmed the bike up, so the oil will flow better. down there okay so this remember this is a 13 mil okay, bag, it just out of the way. Spill. Just trying to make sure there I got the uh, the washer off. Okay, so whilst that's draining out. One filter off. And that came off quite easily. Remember, it's only um, ten newton meters of pressure. It shouldn't be done up tight anyway. I'm just going to let the um, oil filter drop into the bucket. Okay, let's have a look at a sump plug washer. 
So there's your sump plug washer. I've used this method, I have ever changed it since I've had the bike. But I do have a generic box of other washers. You know, that looks like it fits. That's much, much thicker though. That's about three mil, I think it says on the, um, on the parts diagram. I can't remember the exact size of this. I think it's 23 mil wide. I think the internal diameter is about four and a half mil. The fact that this one's thinner and that one's thicker, I don't think it really makes a difference. So I'm gonna just change it for one of these. I quite often keep anyway a bucket, sorry, a box of various aluminium washers. Okay, so I'm just going to let that um, oil drain out. I've got a torque wrench and we can do adjust this to 10 newton meters because I'm going to put the oil filter on first. drained out. I'll just give it two more minutes while I clean up the mess that I made. in there as well and give the uh, surfaces where the oil filter goes a little clean just in case there's any debris Here's our oil filter. These come pre-oiled now, I believe. But I'm gonna give it a little bit of oil anyway. If I can, what I like to do is put a little bit of oil in the oil filter just to help fill it up a little bit. Now sometimes you can't because your oil filter will be going on on the side. I think it's like that on uh, something like a Kawasaki Z800 that I've been doing. So when you're trying to put this on, try to feel it on gently because you really don't, don't want to cross the red it. So I, like, I just turn it anti-clockwise to start with. So it kind of feels like it drops into a thread. 
and then heat it up. say as far as doing these up you know a lot of people are doing what they call hand tight literally that is just a little tweak it's only 10 newton meters almost nothing there we go quite often the cup gets stuck on there So now we need 25 newton meters for the sump plug. finished dripping out. So this is a new um, aluminium washer. I don't think I've ever changed it in the past. I'm not saying you shouldn't change them but this is the first time I ever have okay so 25 newton meters Either, does it? Okay, so that's the oil dropped, the filter taken out. Now all we gotta do is top it up. Can you see if I can you up over here. Yeah, I think we can see enough there. In case I got two cans of oil because there's some already in here. There's about two and a half litres in here and I think it takes 3.2 litres if I'm not mistaken. So we're just going to be putting all of this in straight away. fast forward this for you. Like I said, we're trying to do this in real time.
So I've got about two and a half litres in. Let's put another half a litre or so in. Again, of course, using the dipstick. So on the dipstick there, you can see that you've got like a slightly um, cross-hatched area. So that is your minimum, maximum mark just there. I don't think I'm up to minimum yet, but I'd rather put more in than trying to take some out. Remember to screw the um, the dipstick in to get the correct read in. Okay, so we're just at the minimum there, just about. So I'm going to put a little bit more in because when you start the bike, of course, it's going to fill various voids. So I'm just going to start it up. Now you don't have to get it up to temperature, just the flow around the engine. circulating just give it two seconds for the oil level to drop once that's happening we can come around this side and just check for any leaks Good. Okay. Now, normally, I'd probably let it. Um, Settle for a little bit longer just to make sure the level's good, but just save time. We'll have a look now. Remember, wiping your dipstick clean. So again, now we're about halfway up. I'll let that set a little bit longer and I'll check it again later. But that pretty much is an oil and filter change, which is known as your minor service at your uh, dealership. And the last time I paid for a minor service at the dealership, which was an oil and filter change, I think that cost me £181.50 just to change the oil and filter, which is about £40, £50 worth of parts. So that's just to show how easy it is to do it yourself. So, you know, crack on, have a go yourself. If you like this video, hit like, comment and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.